It's interesting, isn't it, that, uh, well, interesting and worrying that NHS ambulance staff are going on strike on the 21st of December. And this is going to bring the ambulance service to its knees. And maybe the government will enlist the army to run the ambulances. Maybe that will work. Who knows? The problem is, if you want an ambulance, uh, and this has been the case for some time, you simply don't get one in any um, speed, at any speed, at any convenience. It's, um, it's a nightmare waiting for an ambulance. I myself was waiting for seven hours when I was hemorrhaging um, badly. My partner was extremely distressed. Uh, I heard a story today about somebody who, well, was so uh, grievously hurt and was left waiting for over an hour Again, hopeless and unnecessary. And people, you know, pe people are placed in mortal danger because our systems simply are not working. If our systems are not working, I don't see that we should be paying directors of the NHS upwards of 90 to 120,000 pounds in salary plus perks it doesn't make any sense. And we should certainly be paying the ambulance drivers, we should certainly be paying nurses, we should certainly be paying doctors, cleaners, porters, support workers, dental nurses and so on significantly more.